school staff, that beret, I'm so jealous of that guy. He usually bullied by others, and yet he just smiles and acts. Nothing bothers him. Oh, she's so cute. Fuck, I'm horny. Oh my god! <laughs> I wish I was, bro. I'm in my 30s. I'm struggling. <laughs> Wait, who's following ho? Wait, what's happening? What the heck? What the frick? <laughs> Disgusting! <laughs> the fuck am I about boobies? What the heck? I'm talking about boss and boobies! <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> They're disgusting. I'm gonna go this, I think. Yeah. Can you go get my reboot? Oh my I mean, God. can you go reboot my van? <laughs> hey guys, you wanna play some marbles? Press one for butt fun. Press two if you wanna follow through. Okay, press three if you're gay. Um, fr fr press four for a three-way. Fuck. <laughs> one, two, three, four. There's a lot of one, two, three, four. <laughs> and because I did that and it was 2% milk, I think the estrogen in the soy in the milk got me to not only have big tits, it also got me to be a big bitch. So that is definitely what did it. I became very more soylent at, over the course of the years. My lips got bigger, my eyes just got more girly, my features got more girly. I grew birthing hips. My uh penis started to shrink. Everything changed. And I I try I was I I love for a while, chat, I cross-dressed. I've told this, this shit before. I have cross-dressed where I would go into my mom's room and try on makeup and um, and stuff like that. I would try on her makeup, and I would also put on her clothes to try to see if like, I liked dressing like a girl. It felt nice. <laughs> I swear. But I stopped when I was like nine because I was like, uh, I just didn't like it anymore. I'm because I feel uh -huh. nervous. Oh, why? I have butterflies in my stomach. What? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Butterfly <laughs> in your stomach? Yes. What happened? So butterflies in my stomach is it means nervous nervous a butterfly uh, is like some kid was some like toddler was talking loud mom i wish i could run that fast like shut up we don't give a fuck you can't run without legs keep fucking talking you ain't gonna have any you feel me kidding obviously Kiting, 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 kiting. God, stupid no, truck. No, no, no. I was kiting, so I had time to leave, and the truck punched. Uh, <gasps> oh, oh. You gotta be kidding me. That night when everything happened, I'm like, dude, I'm gonna be real with you. You should delete the VOD. And you know what? He's he's literally sitting there to me. He's like, I don't care. I'm like. Rectful, you can get banned for this. I, I really do think you should delete the VODs, delete your clips. He's like, ah, who gives a shit? He's like, if I get banned for a week, why do I, what, I can't stream one time? I don't give a shit. That's how he thinks. He genuinely did not give it. He was so uncaring about this. He was not willing to go to his stream, just click delete all clips and end. He did not care. So, like, he really did not give a shit. He was much rather enjoy his soup he got, his French onion soup, then care about getting un getting getting banned. You need to be like him. Yes, dude. I need a few more million dollars in my bank account, and then I can start being like him. Um, but until that point, I don't think I'm there. 
French onion soup is really fucking good, though, especially at this restaurant to jerk off to. I used to take two rubber bands, put it on my my Xbox 360 controller, and put it on my dick and jerk off to Cortana saying the same line over and over again while I had a turret in Halo 3. They're going to kick me from my own Discord, and I'll report it and get it fucking shut down because that's my Discord, bruv. I'll make a fucking new one. I've made over a thousand members in three fucking days. I'll make a new one, bruv. We're arm in control. They're kicking me from Discord, are they? Go on, then. Let's see what fucking happens. Thank Give me you so much for watching. Oh, Thank you so much. Oh, 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 your, it was your phone. Oh. Now we know the reason why he's self-cogging. He, he, he was epic, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. Anyway, <laughs> I'll see you guys again tomorrow. What? Howdy, y'all. You might have heard there's a new cowboy in town. It's me, Greek God X. I just landed here in the uh, United States of Texas. I've only been here 24 hours, and I've come quite accustomed to the American culture here. Isn't that right, Rusty? Good boy, Rusty. This wouldn't have been possible if it wasn't for an organization named TSM. All thanks to them, I'm living a comfortable life here in Texas. Now, who goes there? What in tarnation? I don't remember. <laughs> Don't worry, Rusty, nobody saw that. It's panties. <laughs> now stay tuned, fellas, because there's gonna be a lot more content coming your way from me and TSM. Isn't that right, Rusty? <laughs> Rusty? Come. Now, don't know about this. Oh. Come on! No! Oh, 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 oh. No, no, no! Oh, now I really fucking broke it. Maybe we should just go back to playing Bleeding Edge. This is, where's this? This is like a secret crypt area. I've never seen this area before though. Wait, in, okay. no. Yesterday? Almost no Jenny, get the lie map. Okay, I'll get a lie map. Get your hands ah! in the air. <laughs> Wait, where are you going? Um, grocery shopping. Oh. You saw a pee bottle? I saw like seven pee bottles, dude. People that Mitch, seriously, bro. <laughs> that was Kaylee, I swear. Oh, it was Kaylee's pee bottle. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't me, dude. You realize how hard it is for a woman to pee in a bottle? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, <laughs> Mitch. Dude. I'm not gonna lie. Dude. I hid, I hid like a stash of them under the sink. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. I'm reformed now. I swear I'm reformed. I swear. Bro. I swear to you, I'm reformed. I promise you, dude. dude. I, I promise you, I'm reformed now, dude. Look, look. Thank you. Take the tor- the torch, take it out. Oh. Uh... Mm. Now 
bad. I'm so bad! I was looking right up! Okay. Unify all of Africa under a currency backed by gold. And then propel it to become a first world power. That was my plan in middle school. Besides that, my second plan, and the reason I wanted to do all of this, okay? The reason I wanted to do all of this was because I wanted to go to space, okay? I wanted to go to space because I wanted to be the first human being on the planet to fuck an alien. That was literally the motivation. What color am I? That was literally the motivation behind all of that. I didn't sleep a lot last night, so I, because I was, I was shaking. I was very, very scared last night. It was not an easy night to sleep. It was very scary because you're just like, holy f Dude, chat, I got... Picture my life. You know how I'm obsessed with Twitch and streaming and, my, and all this stuff? Imagine you get an email that says you're indefinitely suspended. I was freaking out. Like, I, I literally... I almost felt like when Trainwrecks beat me in, in Mario Party. I ran around my block because I just had to run around. I could not sit down. And you know who wrote or helped me write the appeal? I wrote it, but you know who helped me write it? Sinak. Sinak, like, pretty much came over and he's like, get the fuck out of here. I got this. So Sinek helped me write the appeal while I ran around my block because I just couldn't f do anything. And he wrote the appeal. So pretty much I give most of my credit to Sinak and Pluto. Smoke down towards Xbox makes it a bit more problematic for Nexus. So there's the flashbang. He needs at least two kills out of a chance in the round. There's the first, not bad at all. Oh. There's the second. It's working oh. out. Right. Oh. Let's go, Nexus! Oh my Christ. goodness gracious me, he's pulled it off. We said he needs two. He somehow gets four. I just squealed like a pig. <laughs> Guys. stream with Dr. K really helped me. My stream with Dr. K helped me. There's one thing that Dr. K said that really stood out to me where I was telling him I'm too scared to find like go in another relationship again and he he told me like that would be a waste because I had so much love to give or something like that. And that really stuck with me. I'm like, ha huh. maybe 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 it'd be a waste, you know, maybe maybe I should try, you know, maybe I should take a risk, you know. So like it's stuff like that. So it, it really it, it resonated with me a lot. Um, it is still scary. Like, not gonna lie, it's still scary for me. But it's something I'm just willing to try again. I don't care. After a certain point, I'm just like, I don't care. I'll try. Like, what's the worst that can happen? I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> Never mind. I will try. Dr. K is... Yeah. 